Ayurveda is the prime aspect of Indian Sanatana Dharma. It does not just cure the disease symptoms as in today's case. It not only cures the disease but also increases the immunity of our body through the treatment. Take a look at this example. Understand that this green plant resembles our human body organ when treated with harmful chemicals. Let's say that the insect that settled down on the plant is the cancer disease. If artificial methods are used to protect the plant from such pests, the disease extended to another organ which we call side effects. The plant also lost its life. This is the truth that we need to agree with and we see it every day. But if we use the natural treatment method that mother nature has given us, it will not only cure the disease but also boost the immune system of the body so that the person can never acquire illness again. As per the theory of Ayurveda, it is believed that the root cause of any disease is an imbalance in the body's three doshas, Vata, Pitta and Kapha. By bringing these doshas into harmony, Ayurveda seeks to promote the health system of the body. Because of artificial chemicals, we sometimes cause problems to ourselves. Such medicines focus on treating only the symptoms of the disease rather than addressing the underlying causes. As you have seen what happened to this plant. Suppose if one among us faced a similar situation, it would be pathetic. Mr. Abdul Shamir suffered cancer in the past. Now, let us reach Anantapur in India to know about his cancer journey. Shamir is over 70 years old and has been suffering from stage 4 kidney cancer for 3 years. He is a retired car driver of Anantapur district collector leading a happy life with his two sons and two daughters. By the time the rest of his life was filled with bliss, the danger had emerged. If I have to say how this all started, he first absorbed blood while urinating. We met the doctor locally and he prescribed a few tests. When scanned, they found cancer cells and asked us to go with further tests completely. At last, they confirmed that it was cancer. His family was shocked to hear the news. Even Shamir was disheartened after hearing that allopathy had limited options for this stage of cancer, which led him very disappointed. In fact, Shamir was always active and healthy, but cancer ravaged his body. Allopathic treatments made him more weak and helpless. So he has gone through surgery, but after that he felt suffocated all the time. He often used to say that I'm unable to breathe and it is better to die than to suffer like this. I used to cry a lot because he's aged and once a person is affected by cancer, it cannot be cured. That even spread to the bone. We don't know what to do. We met some doctors. My younger son has many doctors in his friend circle. He consulted them. They said, your father needs to take chemotherapy and there is no other way. But when we went for that, doctors were giving only chemo tablets and not the complete chemo. They said that it is because it is the last stage, but we did not inform my husband that it is the fourth stage. We felt that he might get disheartened if we said all those words. He did not leave hope. He struggled with the disease until he discovered the power of Ayurvedic medicine. Rasayana Ayurveda is a holistic approach to medicine that focuses on the body's natural energies. Eventually, Shamir reached Punarjan Ayurveda Hospital through some source. Here, the doctors told him not to lose heart and gave him the right dose of customized Ayurvedic medicine to boost his immunity and further fight the cancer. Shamir used it regularly along with Ayurvedic treatment. He also started making changes in his daily life, transforming into a yogic lifestyle. Shamir learned that this miraculous chemical portion of Rasa Basmas not only made him calm and focused, 
but also improved his physical health. Shamir's family gave him their support and faith and they stood by his side every step of the way. This is how he stood up again. With the help of Punarjan Ayurveda Hospital, Shamir's health started improving gradually. The symptoms of the disease which has afflicted him for so long left him depressed. But now he is healthier and stronger than before. After my uncle suffered cancer five years back, he suffered from lung cancer and gradually it spread to the bone. We have taken him to Karnul, Hyderabad and many other places. He took all the therapies of chemo and radiation. There was no good result at all. In addition, there was a brain attack. I have closely witnessed the person's conditions after chemotherapy. He suffered motions and weakness in the body. It was very painful to watch. When my father faced the same situation as my uncle, it was really sorrowful to us because we already faced this scenario in our family with our uncle. We have already seen the pain of this disease and the results of the treatment as well. Then my brother came to know about Punarjan Ayurveda. After using the medicine from the Punarjan Ayurveda, we have observed better results without any side effects. Eventually, he is cured now. It is really blissful today. I am the one who has seen the pain of the cancer patient post-chemo. We are really grateful. Thanks to Punarjan Ayurveda. I am telling it from the bottom of my heart because he did not go to the post-chemo stage. Today is very healthy and walking around actively. At the moment, while getting better, his mind is full of hope for the future. Today, Shamir is cancer-free and in perfect health. He is spending time with his children and grandchildren and meeting his childhood friends in the evenings. He is filled with hope and determination for the future. Due to Rasayana Chikitsa of Punarjan Ayurveda Hospital, he faced and overcame one of the toughest challenges in his life. Shamir's story is a testament to the strength and willpower of an individual. We must understand that our determination reminds us that we have the power to overcome whatever circumstances life throw at us. That is Prana Shakti. That is our Ayurveda. Namaste all. My name is Shamir. I am a retired driver from the revenue department. I was always healthy before, uh, but from the year 2020, I felt a little unhealthy. We met the doctor. After scanning and other diagnosis, they confirmed that it is kidney cancer. Then we went to Bangalore. They also said the same thing. And they said again that it is a kidney cancer and surgery is needed. So they admitted me in the hospital on 27th March 2020 and the surgery was on 28th or 29th of that month. They removed a kidney and I was discharged after the fifth day. They prescribed some tablets but I did not use them. Then they said that chemo is necessary. My elder son brought Punarjana Ayurveda medicines and asked me to use them. I started using them and from that time, I have been feeling very good. Even my elder brother Anwar, he suffered from the bone cancer. It was a few years back and we were about Punarjana Ayurveda medicine. Even he went to the different hospitals at Karnul and Hyderabad, but he did not find the cure. Eventually, he expired. Today, I suffered the same disease and I don't know how God's God must know it. But after using this medicine, I am happy and healthy. I am able to walk and even go for a ride on my bike. Thank you very much, Punarjana Ayurveda Hospital. Namaskar. In the words of Dr. Bommu Venkateshwar Reddy, the founder of Punarjan Ayurveda Hospital, it is Rasayana Ayurveda can lead us into a cancer-free world. So, let us get inspired by Abdul Shamir's journey and protect our ancient science of Indian Ayurveda. This is a story of Shamir, a driver who survived and proved that anything is possible with the right approach.